Hey, how's it going? I'm Resale Rafa. And I'm Resale Rafa's mama. And this is my channel, Follow My Flipping Dollar. On my channel, um, we go thrifty and garage selling and we buy things to, uh, at a low cost and we try to sell them at a higher cost on eBay, Amazon, and Facebook Marketplace. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure and hit the like button. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so it's Friday morning and my mom and I are out garage selling today. Let me show you what I got first. I, got, I took a chance on this, I paid two bucks it is a hand-painted Ford, like, leather belt buckle. Kind of like, I was thinking maybe, um, sometimes people pick up stuff that's like folk folk art, and this is kind of what that reminds me of. So, <laughs> we'll see if it sells. Two bucks. You parked me on the ditch. <laughs> Once my mom gets in, she'll show you what she got. What'd you get? I got a belt buckle. Let's see it. No cone. It's a horse head. No Kona. Yeah. And I paid five for it. I think she should have tried for three. I paid up for it. <laughs> and it's worth about, oh, I saw it comps for about 24. Nice. And then this is a desktop switch. And it's still brand new, sealed brand in the package. Brand new in the box. I can say that. <laughs> Brand new seal in the box. I paid two for it. I saw comps all over the place. I think around 17. <laughs> okay, nice. Here we go. I just paid two fifty for each of these um, Pyrex containers. She had more, but the designs were just not worth very much. So I picked the ones that were worth maybe like fifteen to twenty. Got these four books at this last sale, a dollar each on these, and no one that's going to bring huge profit, but maybe like ten, twenty bucks. Picked up some vintage uh, Tupperware container for a dollar and a vintage Pyrex like portable container also for a dollar. How much do you think he's worth? Well, I'm not sure. I, I gotta look him up better, but I love, you know, I love Woody. <laughs> Paid two dollars for him. Just picked up this old Pantene. It's a retired like hairspray. I got a dollar for it. Two of these triazzle puzzles where you're trying to put the pieces together and make everything and like connect and everything. Um, like like you do with puzzles. <laughs> anyway, I paid a dollar each on them and maybe get about 15 a piece on them or bundle them up maybe like 25 for the two. Just pay, you can kind of see it right there in the bed of my truck. I paid $20 for a Sun Mountain golf push cart. Um, so I definitely paid up on that, but hope to be able to get anywhere from like 60 to 100 on Facebook Marketplace. I saw one that sold on eBay for $171. I just don't know if I want to deal with the shipping, but for that price, I might. <laughs> More garage sale purchase this morning. I purchased this old Concept 2 rower. Um, this is something that's often used in CrossFit gyms, and people that are trying to make their own CrossFit gym at home, they could use this. Um, I paid $60 for it. It's really old, um, but new ones go for over 1000 and so... I think people are still, uh, I mean, it's still functional and everything. I put it up on Facebook Marketplace, and I'm going to see if I get any uh, offers for it. I had a few sales today. The first is on eBay. I sold this Pampered Chef Pastry Blender. I paid, I think, one or two for this, um, and it only sold for seven, so not a great flip on that one. Um, still happy to get it out the garage, though. Um, next, I sold some, I sold the lot of comic books that, uh, lot of nine to one buyer and i got 120 dollars um for that one here here are those one of these are one two three four five six seven eight and nine I had a nice Facebook Marketplace uh, online sale. I sold these LL Bean Boots that I just got like two days ago, I think. Um, I paid $10 at Goodwill for these, and I got $75 plus shipping on top on Facebook Marketplace. I'm super happy with how my sales are going on Marketplace lately, the online sales. Um, in fact, I think I'm having as many sales on there as I am on eBay, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> so we got up early, or my mom, to go, it's Saturday, neighborhood garage sale we got here by 6 45 and we we're having a terrible luck 
Only thing I picked up so far are two of these Apple headphones. I paid a dollar each for them. Another neighborhood, still not a, just a ton of luck today. I picked up these uh, van shoes for two bucks. Needs a little bit of cleanup and some laces. Um, so, and I'm not sure how much they'll resell for, so we'll see on these. Mom, she always finds a plant lady. She's walking up with a free plant, I think. Did you find the plant lady? Yep. What'd you get? She gave me this for free. <laughs> Is it, it Rick Rack? No, it's Night Bloom and Cirrus. Nice. I know it. <laughs> At this last sale, I got a My Little Pony Build-A-Bear plush. Pretty large size. Um, they asked three for it. I paid, they asked five, I paid three. Picked up a really nice set of 30 pound dumbbell weights. I paid 20 bucks for the pair. Another plush, it is, pretty sure this is a Frozen character. It's a pillow, what do they call it? Pillow pet. Picked up this golf swing setter. I paid $5 and it's worth anywhere from like 40 to 80. I picked up some kids chacos for three bucks. Um, they wanted five for them, but got them for three. Paid five for this Black & Decker hedge trimmer. I pick these up all the time. I use them for 15 to 20. Just picked up another pair of $5 chacos. They're women's size seven, look to be in good condition. And then I got three books for a dollar, so about 33 cents a piece. This one, this one, this one I think is gonna bring like 60 bucks. And then this ALS one, um, or no, A, American Heart Association. Um, anytime I see books, I don't scan all books that I see. I only scan ones that look like they're like college books or like, I guess in this case, medical books. <laughs> My mom got something. Let me show you what she just popped in the car with. <laughs> it's new Pokemon, men's lounge Pokemon pants. Did you look them up? Nope. <laughs> I just thought they were fun. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> New in the package? New in the package. How much? Three bucks. Just picked up this Toshiba uh, VCR DVD combo for five bucks. Love My mom's on the phone. We never <laughs> picked up this Specialized. It's another good cycling brand bike helmet. And typical bike helmet fits about 54 to 60 or 61 centimeters. So that's how you know if it's an adult helmet. Um, anyway, this one's in good condition and hopefully should sell like 30 to 40. I paid two for it, by the way. I just spent $24 at this last sale. I got this vintage Navy, uh, you can see in there, maybe starter jacket. I had a hard time looking this up because when you type in Navy starter jacket, it just brings up the color Navy. So I didn't find any sales comps. I paid $20 for it, so I definitely paid more money, but it's getting to be winter time, and I know that these starter jackets can be collectible, and especially with something like Navy branded on it, that I'm really hoping it might be um, something that somebody wants. So, took a chance on it, though, without any sales comps. Um, and then I got two of these Stanley, uh, like, thermos cups. There's that one. I paid a dollar for both of the Stanley cups. And then I got two books. Painless Childbirth, The Lamaze Method. This one's worth, I want to say more than $30. I can't remember. And canoeing. <laughs> My mom just said, how about painless childbirth while canoeing? That's the same thing that people inside said. What a pair <laughs> for those. And I paid a dollar each for both of the books. I actually offered a dollar for the books and the cups, like a dollar each. And then they said, how about two each for the canteens, the thermoses, and we'll throw in the books for free. And so I said, so $4. <laughs> that, for whatever reason, that set better with them. So we did that deal instead of the one each. We are currently waiting at a quick trip about to sell, you can see it in my truck, this um, rower. And so it's a piece of equipment that a lot of CrossFitters like to use and i had it listed for 200 with hardly anybody messaging me on facebook um i think a lot of people looked at it but it i had listed it just in fair condition 
because the monitor is not working. And so when you're wanting to use it, when, whenever you like row with it, the monitor doesn't register that you rowed. It turns on and everything, it just doesn't register each row. And so a lot of people that are doing something for CrossFit workout or just workout in general, you wanna see like how much you've done. So I don't know if it's possible that it can be fixed or not. So anyway, I lowered the price to 100. Not a great flip on this one. I paid 60 for it, um, but still, you know, that was just yesterday. So profiting $40 will be good. Um, I was hoping to get more for it because in a nicer or newer condition, these things are worth just a ton of money. Um, I just couldn't believe I found one. So that was why I was so eager to pick it up. But um, if I find one again, hopefully it will be a, a nicer one and could really make some serious money on it. So, but anyway, just happy to get it out of the garage. Just, it takes up, it takes up the whole bed of my truck. So you can see it's sticking out right there. Um, so I'll let you know if the guy shows up. All right. So the guy uh, that wanted the rower did show up. I got my hundred bucks. So a nice $40 one day uh, profit on that. And I'm just, like I said, glad to have it going. In addition to my Facebook Marketplace sale today, I also had some eBay and Amazon sales. Um, the first is on Amazon, I sold this biology lab manual. I paid about $10 a piece. Um, I bought some homeschool textbooks from a lady maybe like a year ago, and I think the total is $150, and so I had $10 in each book. I well into the profit on those books, so I made $19.99 for this one, so that's all profit. And then next on um, eBay, I sold these nice Wolverine boots. I paid five bucks for them. This, I'm pretty sure I picked this up at the 100 mile uh, Oklahoma garage sale like three or four week, weekends ago. I paid $5 for them. I took a best offer of 30 with plus shipping. And then my best sale of the day came on eBay. It is the um, Harley Davidson 100th anniversary decal. I picked this up on, I wanna say Friday, maybe Thursday or Friday, I can't remember which. Um, at a, at, I'm pretty sure it's Friday, at an estate sale. Nope, I think it was Thursday. <laughs> I picked this up at an estate sale. Um, well, maybe it was Wednesday. I picked this up earlier last week. I paid a dollar fifty for it, and I was thinking at the time I'd get like seventy to eighty dollars for it. Well, it turns out it's better than I thought. I was looking at the small uh, medallion. This is a large medallion, and I got a hundred and nine ninety nine um, on eBay plus shipping. And so that's been my best, like most profitable flip in a long time. Going like as far as like multiplying my money. So couldn't be happier about that one. Uh, nice sales day today. Just want to thank you guys so much for watching our channel, uh, Follow My Flipping Dollar. Um, also want to show you guys our favorite pick of the day. What's your favorite pick of the day? Mine was these two leaves that a nice plant lady gave me for free. They are from the Night Blooming Cirrus or Queen of the Night plant, and I love them. What were you tell telling me about the flower? Well, they only bloom uh, overnight, one night a year. If you're lucky, you get it every year. But it smells heavenly. So we're going to have to try to catch, I don't, how do you know what night it's going to bloom? Well, you can see that the bulb is coming on. Mm, okay. Here's my favorite pick of the day. I got a, well, I got a pair. I'm only holding up one. <laughs> a pair of 30 pound dumbbells. The reason why my favorite pick, it was my favorite pick, is I got uh, the lady down from $30 to $20. So always like a good deal. I'll probably list these for between 80 and 100 on Facebook Marketplace. I like to do fast flips. So I'm going to try to sell them by today and at least quadruple my money. Um, the other thing what's cool about these is they're rubber, um, the rubber end caps. They're in light new condition. And I really like things. Um, that you don't have to worry about testing like electronics where you have to test them and worry that you know it's gonna be broken or you know I just love hard goods that you're like this is definitely in great I think condition. They are new. You, the she, other one still has the label on it. No, that was the label, the price of what Okay. They're ba I'm gonna say they're like new though on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. Um, like and subscribe. All right, bye.